Welcome to Swiss Gold Global. Today we're going to be speaking about gold, silver, product, integrity. My name is Bill Rao. I am the founder and CEO of Swiss Gold Global. And here on the left hand side, you see me standing in, in part of the workshop area of Argo Horias holding a 9 kilogram gold 99.9 .9 pure bar, which is about to go into the machining area to produce some of our private, private collectibles and ingots. You also see uh, that I'm also a licensed precious metal trader. I'm a general manager of a Dubai company called New Golden Life DMCC at the Dubai Multi Commodity Center here in the UAE, and my license is now valid until 2019. Company history well, the Swiss company is founded in 2008. We have the DMCC, Dubai Multi Commodity Center, incorporated in the UAE. We have strategic partnerships with the world's best precious metal London bullion market accredited referee refiner Argo Horias in Switzerland. We have strategic partnership with the world's leading cloud mining company Genesis Mining. And we have strategic partnership with the London bullion market accredited precious metal storage facility called Loomis, a Swedish company in Zurich, Switzerland and in Dubai. What will you learn today? I'm going to be speaking about Swiss Gold Global Product Integrity. Are Swiss Gold Global Precious Metal Products Certified? Understanding Market Spot Price. What is Product Conversion? And last but certainly not least, why Gold and Silver? So we're going to start actually why Gold and Silver. When I was first introduced to this world why Gold and Silver, I was introduced by a precious metals banker, gold and silver banker actually in Zurich, Switzerland back in 2003. And he actually informed me that throughout history, rulers of empires, royalty and the financial elite have always put part of their paper wealth into gold and silver. And we're about to learn why that is actually the case. So let me ask you this question. What could you buy? So let's do a comparison. A 50 year comparison of buying power of gold versus the US dollar. Now we're using the US dollar because it is the reserve currency of the world since the Bretton Woods Agreement post Second World War. So $3,500 worth uh, 50 years ago today is still worth $3,500. Now, three and a half thousand dollars back in 1971 would actually buy you 100 ounces of gold because in 1971, up until 1971, from 1933 up until 1971, gold had a fixed price of $35 an ounce until President Nixon, of course, changed it. They actually removed the gold standard, so there's no backing of gold to the US dollar. Primarily, all currencies were pegged to the US dollar, and the US dollar was anchored by gold. That changed. It really became what we call today the petrodollar, where a deal was really done between Saudi Arabia and the US that when it came to the transactions of any oil, it had to be, of course, in the US dollar. That's why it's given the name the petrodollar. A three and a half thousand dollars in 1971 would buy you 100 ounces of gold, and today it has a market price, buying power price of 125 thousand dollars, versus three and a half thousand dollars 50 years ago, as buying power today of three and a half thousand US dollars, the same as any other currency as well. Let me ask you. Let's look at gasoline. This is this is certainly one expense that people actually have to buy on a weekly basis. Uh, for living, of course, fuel for heating homes, for travel, uh, etc. Well, today, three and a half thousand dollars is going to buy you 1,500 gallons of gasoline, or the equivalent of just over 5,600 liters of gasoline. If your vehicle uh, had 20 miles per gallon, you could drive approximately 30,000 miles with that vehicle. But if you, if you had been diversifying, your savings into gold, your gold today 
which cost three and a half thousand dollars in 1971, it's going to buy you over 54,000 gallons of gasoline, or the equivalent of just over 205,000 liters of fuel, which is going to drive you instead of 30,000 miles, it's going to drive you actually well over one million miles. So there is a significant difference in the buying power, the wealth of uh, the store of value between U.S. dollar, other currencies as well, and gold. Your home. Well, the average medium home price today in the U.S., let's say it's $200,000, your $3,500 would actually be about 2% of that particular buying price. But that gold today that you have, the value of that gold you have today, which costs $3,500, would actually be $125,000 that you'd actually have to put towards that $200,000 home, which, which is actually 63%. It's a long way from 2%. Let's look at the burrito index, or a meal. As an example, food. How many burritos can three and a half thousand dollars buy today? Approximately 470. But again, that gold that cost three and a half thousand dollars. You had it in your hand today, and you wanted to liquidate that to buy burritos. You could buy over 16,000 uh, meals with that. You could certainly uh, feed a very good town uh, with that three and a half thousand dollars from 1971 with gold. Let's look at other services. Let's look at flights, New York City to LAX, Los Angeles. The total round trip uh, with $3,500 today, you could do about 10 trips. Well, with gold that you purchased in 1971 today, you could do 300, approximately 357 return flights with that from New York City to Los Angeles. Again, a store of value. So let's look at this. The US dollar and all other fiat currencies purchasing power, no question about it. It is diminishing. In fact, the rule of thumb is less than every 10 years, your buying power of your currency, whether it is euro, US dollar, Swiss franc, Australian dollar, regardless of the currency, is going to lose more than 50% of its buying power in that time. Which means that you're trading your time for a currency which is losing buying power. We call that unjust weights and measures. And this is why people who have the understanding about wealth preservation always seek to put part of their wealth, may only be 5 or 10% of the collective wealth, paper wealth, into physical gold. So let's look what the US dollar versus the gold. Gold purchasing power compared to the US dollar, well, it's actually priceless, as these simple examples have just shown. Let's look at silver. Let's look at a 50-year comparison of buying power of silver compared to the US dollar. Well, again, $3,500 is still worth $3,500 today as it was 50 years ago. $3,500 in 1971 at a price of about $1.55 an ounce is going to buy you over 2,200 ounces of silver. Today, that has a value of approximately $40,000 based on a silver price of approximately $18. A couple of years ago, it was at $50. It was at $30. It was at $16. Silver is also, of course, an industrial metal, so demand and supply. But long term, it's a very good metal for wealth building and wealth preservation. For generational wealth preservation, it is also fantastic. Same as gold. Let's look at some simple examples here. Let's look at food. It's primarily, gold and silver has been money for 5,000 years. Gold was always used for larger transactions, international trade, etc. Silver was all more so the people's money. So how many burritos could you buy with $3,500? Well, we know it's 470. But that silver, bought, purchased in 1971, is going to get, get you over 5,000 burritos today. Why? because it is a store of value. It has purchasing power. Let's look at gasoline, another well-needed commodity. Again, we know that $3,500 is going to buy you 1,500 gallons of fuel and drive you approximately 30,000 miles. Well, that silver that you'd saved may even be handed down to you, generationally wealth. Maybe it was handed down from your parents or grandparents to you. A transfer of wealth. Transfer of wealth is important. While paper transfer of wealth is losing buying power, assets such as gold and silver is preserving that transfer of wealth. This is what the financially elite rulers of empires 
and of course royalty truly understand. So the silver that you could buy for three and a half thousand dollars is going to give you over 17,000 gallons of, of, of fuel and drive you nearly uh, 350,000 miles compared to 30,000 miles, well over 10 times. So a significant difference in buying power compared to currency. So how do you get started with Swiss Gold Global to actually be able to preserve your wealth from fiat currency, your paper currency, into some tangible assets such as Swiss certified gold and silver? The most important thing is, that once you become a free member or an affiliate member, is that you log into your account and you complete your account confirmation. KYC, know your customer. This is a requirement uh, through international anti-money laundering regulations. It must be done. So as you can see down on the bottom left-hand side, it says complete account confirmation. You need to do this. You click on that. You'll be able to complete the form, fill in the form. You then print it out. You may have to go to a local printing place to get that done, but you need to do that. Then you need to fill it out, of course, print it out. You can use your telephone to take a photo of the document after you've signed it with your government-issued photo ID with signature, international passport, driver's license is acceptable. And then you would send that by email, if you like, to support at swissgoldglobal.com. Now, of all the credentials are correct and it's legible, the signatures are in their place, your account will be proved generally within 24 hours, except for public holidays and, of course, weekends. I mentioned that our strategic partnership is with the refinery Argor Horias. Argor Horias is a London bullion market accredited refiner. We choose to deal with this refinery. And there's only five refineries in the world with the London bullion market accredited to be a referee refiner to other producers. So in one sense, they are a watchdog uh, for other LBMA uh, refineries around the world. We also have Loomis, a strategic partnership with them. Now Loomis, for some of the people who have been with us for many years, they may be used to hearing the word Biomat. Well, Loomis is a Swedish company listed on the, on the public exchange. And they purchased Viamat, which was actually a third generation operation private company in Switzerland by the Merza family. Quite a remarkable story, actually. But in 2014, you can see there was purchased by the group Loomis, uh, which is a huge company. And of course, they, uh, they still had, they've still kept the precious metals division in various parts of the world. So you, your precious metals are stored in Loomis in Switzerland. We can arrange that you, uh, and we do have people coming there through appointment to collect their precious metals, and we can do the same in Dubai as well. Product are saying, this is really important to understand. Now, on the products themselves, which are uh, Argo Horizon produced, we do not produce products from any other refiner. We do not. We do not handle personally ourselves your gold or silver products. The products that you purchase come directly from the refiner, Argo Horias. They're shipped directly from southern Switzerland on the Italian border to Loomis International near the Cloton Airport in Zurich, which is approximately 250 kilometers, stored under a London Bullion Market accredited facility. When you place your orders for shipment, it's then processed there under video camera. It's then packed into FedEx. It's then fully insured and shipped directly to your address. The important things to note about this assaying is that is really the melter assayer. You can see here the Argo melter assayer stamp here and down here, melter assayer, and it's certifying this piece of gold produced in Switzerland by Argo Horias. It's weight 100 grams. It's fine gold, 24 carat, 999.9 .9 pure. It also has a number on this particular bar as well. Many of our products also carry what is called the Kinabar. Now some of the product line are referred to by the name Kinabar. These products incorporate Kinogram security technology. Kinogram is the world's leading foil-based optical security device for the protection of government documents and banknotes. The refiner, Agor Horias, has secured the worldwide exclusivity for the application of the Kinogram technology to precious metals and they've developed a proprietary 
technique to apply the Kenogram device directly onto the surface of the minted gold products, not the silver, uh, assuming, uh, resulting in the name Kinobar. Yeah, our products actually have that and available for you because counterfeiting of gold and actually silver uh, does go on. You can see one of the products here, of course, this is the one ounce, which is 31.103 grams of pure gold, and you can see the kinogram on the back of that one, the security seal that actually was proprietarily exclusive to Argo Horais. Let's look at the range of products and bars that we make available. Our range really starts from one gram, which is 0 0.032 of a troy ounce. We have five gram, we have one ounce, we have 50 gram, we have a 100 gram bar, which is 3.216 of a troy ounce. We also have the silver bars, 250 gram bar, which is a bit over eight ounces. We have the 500 gram bar, which is 16 ounces, and we also have the one kilogram bar, which is 32.152 of pure silver, 99.0 silver. And they all bear the Melter Assayer stamp of Argor Horias uh, on the actual bars. Now these bars here are what we call cast bars. These are minted bars, different production. The result is the same, except the surface area. Uh, this is minted through car, um, tr this is minted uh, through plates and uh, quite a bit of tooling involved in cost with that, same as this one here. This one here is what we call a poured bar or a cast bar. That's why you have a different uh, surface finish. But when it comes to the value of these bars, they're identical. It's the melt value. It's the intrinsic value that, of course, interests people in wealth preservation. We also have a range of other bars. Now, we actually have what we call the Kinnahart. Now, I know many of you women out there and men like to buy this as gifts. This is also a product from Argo Horias. It's certified to 99.9 .9 pure. This one's a 10 gram one. It also bears, as you can see, the beautiful kinogram on the back of the actual heart. You can wear this as a jewelry item, okay? But we actually have, it's 99.9 .9 finest. It's, we only have the five gram, which is 0 0.161 of an ounce, and we have the 20 gram. So you're like wearing your well. This is why it says when gold is not enough, kinoheart. Just like some of the cultures, Indian culture, uh, many Eastern European cultures, they like to wear their gold, wear their wealth in one respect. So you can certainly do that with the inner heart. We now have the multi card. The one on the left is called the five gram multi card. We have five individual one gram certified ingots of gold. And on the right hand side, we have the 10 one gram certified ingots of gold, making liquidation very flexible for you. Sometimes you, if you have a 100 gram bar, you don't want to liquidate the 100 gram bar, but maybe having, you know, this divisible intense is actually quite uh, practical depending upon where you are in the world. Easy easy to actually liquidate. They're also 99.9 .9 in finest, five gram, and 10 grams in total. And of course, they all carry the Argo Horias Melter Assayer stamp for certification. Now we also produce private collectibles, private biblical collectibles. This one here is on the story of Joseph. Now Joseph, going back to the ancient scriptures of course, uh, speaks about putting ancient Egypt with the Pharaoh on a savings plan. He tell the story just very briefly for those who don't know it. The Pharaoh had a, sorry, the um, Joseph had a dream and they could, uh, Pharaoh had a dream of course and Joseph could interpret that a, a dream in one respect where ancient Egypt was going to have seven years of prosperity followed by seven years of, of, uh, of famine which actually did occur so what uh, Joseph wisdom of course said we need to put the nation on a savings program so they actually saved 20% of the gross domestic product from all that was produced in ancient Egypt at that time and of course when the famine did come when the season did change to a winter season the famine came of course, they were open the, he was able to open the storehouse. Now, they didn't give it away, of course they sold it. And it was, it's recorded as it one of the greatest transfers of wealth in history. And this is really a great metaphor for today because most people today do not save. And if they do save, they save in paper assets which are losing value. Okay, so this is a great way to be able, it's a lesson for us today that yes, we still need to be able to apply these great 
wisdom and principles that Joseph taught the Pharaoh many thousands of years ago. And these are this is the brand name Unique, which is produced by uh, by ourselves as well uh, uh, for our various members around the world. It also bears the certification of Meltrosea stamp, not just on the certificate that you can see when you turn the coin over on the reverse side of the coin, you'll actually see it stamped into the actual um, collectible. A purity of 99.9 .9 pure, also its weight of 5.7 grams, and uh, this is just a, a great way for private collect collectibles. And also historically, is that we believe historically governments have not confiscated uh, gold of religious collectability. So this might be another way for some people in some parts of the world that you can preserve your wealth uh, due to the, due to this uh, religious uh, collectability. Maybe the the governments in this part of the world may be reluctant to confiscating that due to that. And this is one of the other reasons why we also produce that. You can't say it's guaranteed, but this is why it was actually done. We also have the unique, this one's called the Gold Tribe. It's called, it's based on the story of Moses. This one is actually 10.367 grams of pure gold. It's 99.9 .9 in finest, and it's also a private collectible. And we also have silver. We have a private collectible, a three ounce private collectible of the story of King David. It's a beautiful big silver coin under our, our brand trademark Unique. That's all, also available for our members around the world to be able to convert their grams and of gold and silver uh, to as well. Let's discuss now what is market spot price. There are a lot of myths about this and a lot of misunderstandings. So let's just touch on this briefly. Primarily when you turn on the television and listen to gold price or oil price, you get uh, you get different uh, you know, understanding about that. So what is actually the gold fixing and what does it actually, what does it actually mean? Uh, primarily the gold fixing has happens twice, twice per day, one around about 10.30 in the morning London time and one in the afternoon at 10.30. It's, it's fixed by a combination of banks uh, who are involved in the London bullion market fixing, and silver is fixed once per day. All of our buying occurs from Argo Horizon directly. I buy the gold at market spot price, London bullion market spot price, sorry, London bullion market um, buy price at that particular time. And if we then take a fee of 2.97%, which is $29.70 in every $1,000 uh, is removed, and 1% of that goes back in commissions to our, our affiliates, uh, but primarily this covers the cost and transact on, on the transactions uh, and administration of doing this. As you can see here, the market spot price, when you turn on the TV, often you'll see the gold price, you'll see the oil price, and today we even see the Bitcoin price. Well, let's, let's discuss the gold price. It speaks about a good delivery bar. A good delivery bar, and a good delivery bar so when you hear about market spot price, it's specific. So it's a London bullion market refiner, and each bar has its own characteristics. It has to be 995 pure or better. Its weight is actually 400 troy ounces. So in today's price, uh, it's probably 400 troy ounces. Um, 400 troy ounces. Let me just do some numbers here. I think it's around about $400,000, uh, uh, just roughly. Actually, more. It's probably closer to half a million dollars in value, or the equivalent of 12.44 kilograms uh, in in weight. That is what a good delivery bar is, and that's what the spot price is speaking about. It also is that the gold will be unallocated at the point of trade, with the right to allocate it. So when you buy a contract spot price, you're buying a contract to buy it, but it's unallocated. That means it's got to actually there'll be, there'll be other charges on top of that to take delivery and production for that. You've got to add production and you have to add shipping. Now there's a way to calculate that which I'm going to actually just teach you because it's going to give you an understanding of how to maximize your dollars uh, when actually wanting to take physical delivery of your goal. So just recapping on this. When you see the market spot price, it's a non-physical price, it's a contract price. The purity is 995 pure or better. All of our gold is 99.9 .9 pure. 
The weight is just a good delivery bar of 400 troy ounces, which is 12.44 kilograms. The gold is unallocated, it's not, it's not ready to be shipped to you. Then you have to add production and shipping uh, to that, which gives you a percentage over and above the market spot price. So let's just do some simple maths here. How do I get the most gold and silver for my dollar? Really important that you actually understand this. I'm going to give you some tips now on that. As we just saw, the good delivery bar is 400 troy ounces, or 12.44 kilograms. That's a London bullion mark of good delivery bar. And the price is approximately half a million dollars, as you can see here. Now, when you want to, you've been saving in grams of gold and silver, Swiss Gold Global. When you want to take physical delivery of that product, you need to, you need to then convert those grams, that bullion grams that you've got, into the physical product. So you bought, you bought the gold, you purchased the silver. But now you want to actually have it uh, into a specific type of product that you actually want. Okay, so let's just go over that. So the products, as an example. 100 gram bar, 100 grams, let's say uh, on a gold price of 1,250, it's going to be around about uh, $4,000 in metal cost. This bar here has a metal price of around about half a million dollars. And the conversion cost to get this produced, as in, remember this is 999.9 .9 pure, this is 995 pure, so this requires further refining. It's also not 12.44 kilos, this is a minted bar, this is a poured cast bar. There's much more detail and work involved with cast bars and of course the purity, which means there's other expenses to add to that. Now in general for the 100 gram bar, it's going to be $30 to have your grams converted to a 100 gram bar. Now $30 on $4,000, it's a very, very small cost in the percentage terms over and above the spot price. But the point I want to make here, as the gold price, as your gold weight, the intrinsic value, for example the 50 gram bar here, it has half of the intrinsic value because it is half of the weight. The production cost is the same, which means the percentage over spot price is going to be actually uh, increased compared to the 100 gram bar. The one ounce bar, incidentally the one ounce, which is one troy ounce, which is what the market spot price is based on, is actually 31.103 grams. It's called one troy ounce. So that would be production cost, that would be $30, compared to one troy ounce of 1,250. Then you have a five gram bar, which is 0 0.161 of an ounce, that is a value of $210. Now the production cost for the five gram bar is $20, but not a big difference, because there is a significant difference from the value of the intrinsic, the intrinsic value of the gold, which is $210, versus, for example, the 50 grams, which is 10 times the amount, or of course the 100 gram bar for a similar cost of production. Of course then you go to the 1 gram ingot, just as an example, 1 gram has a price of $40, has an intrinsic value of $40, and the cost to produce is $20. So straight away, in, mathematic, in simple mathematics, you are 50% above market spot price. So what I'm, what I'm actually trying to guide you here, when you're saving in grams of gold, and in silver of course, let your grams accumulate. If you can go from a one gram, instead of taking delivery of the one gram, go to the five grams. It's the same production cost to produce this as it is this, but you have five, to five times the amount of intrinsic value, which is fantastic, which means, of course, your percentage over spot is greatly reduced. And of course, as you increase in weight, the price comes down even further. But with that said, having small ingots, there's also the other side, there's a positive thing in that it's easy to liquidate. It's not always easy to liquidate 100 grams or certainly a good delivery bar. But having 5 grams and 1 ounces and 1 grams, of course you pay an extra for that. But of course it's very, very liquid as well. And of course we also have our private collectibles which I have touched on. So just to recap, when converting, if you can convert to a heavier weight to have a higher intrinsic value, you're going to actually re reduce the price of market over spot. And as the price of gold increases, of course, because the production cost is fixed, it's also going to reduce the price as well. Let's look at silver. Now, silver good delivery bar is a thousand troy ounces. They're big and they're much heavier. Uh, sorry, they're not as heavy uh, in that respect because actually silver uh, is a is a is not as dense metal as gold, but this particular, this is a thousand troy ounces versus a, a 400 
troy ounces of gold. So this one's actually 31 kilos, so it is much bigger than the gold bar. It has a delivery bar value of around about $20,000. Of course, as you can see here, we have our, our range of products also. Now we have our King David, which is three ounces at $20 at $20 an ounce, that's $60 in intrinsic value uh, without the production cost. Production cost, let's say it's $20 to produce this, that means you're putting yourself at 33% above the market spot on that. If you convert it to the 250 gram bar, you'd, uh, you'd bring that market spot price down because you have a lot more gold to deal with. You have, you have uh, you know, more ounces there compared to, of course, the three ounce there. The 500 gram bar, you have more intrinsic value again, $320 versus 60. So that's bringing the, the price down. Of course, the kilogram bar, you bring it down to maybe four or five percent. And as the silver price also over time increases, the silver production cost of specs, it's also going to reduce the price. And if the gold price or silver price goes down, you'll also see conversely that the percentage over spot will marginally uh, increase as well. But again, with Rolls preservation, we're talking long term here. We're talking long term, so don't be too concerned about that. We have something that we call the London Bullion Market Chain of Integrity. Now, what we mean by that is, I said earlier on that we don't get to handle your gold and silver. I mean, I go to the refinery and I go to Loomis, of course, but when it comes to handling your gold and silver, we don't get to actually handle that. It's actually produced and refined at Argo Horias. It's then shipped by Loomis International from Argo Horias in southern Switzerland directly to Loomis International in Switzerland. And we also, uh, Loomis International uh, in Dubai, we also deal directly with Argo Horais in Switzerland as well. And this is what we call the London Bullion Market Chain of Integrity. Now there's one more thing to know about this which is really important when it comes to liquidation. When your gold and silver is held in what we call the London Bullion Market Chain of Integri Integrity, it is very liquid. So you've been saving towards some gold and silver, well, all of a sudden you decide that you wanted to liquidate while well, it's held within this range chain of integrity either at Argor or at Loomis you just place your sell back order and the next day we'll put it to the market price and whatever the Argor Horizon refinery London bullion market sell price is that is the price that you get and for active members um, you, there's no there's no fee charge for that there's zero fee charge for that in the next uh, the next three to four days uh, the money is pretty much back into your account. Now, if you took physical delivery of the gold or silver to your home, you've actually broken what we call the chain of integrity, which means, yes, we can still buy it back, but there's a couple of things to recognize here. One, you must actually get the gold and silver back to us into Switzerland or into Dubai. It's then going to be sent to the refinery. They will melt it down, reassay it, recertify it before we're able to give you the price. So how would you liquidate if you've taken physical delivery? Well, all around the world there are many pawn shops. There's people everywhere saying, we want your gold, we want your silver, we want your junk jewelry, whatever it might be. So there's plenty and plenty of physical demand for your gold and silver. You just need to know what the intrinsic value of your gold and silver is at that time when you wish to sell. And then, then you're in the open free trade market. They're going to say, well, the gold price is at 1250 you have a one ounce coin here, we're going to give you 10 or 20% below market spot. You're going to say that's not right. I'll accept maybe 5%. You have to give them something, of course. But as you say, this is a London bullion market accredited refiner, Argo Horizon, full certification. In fact, if they're in the gold business, they will recognize the hallmark of Argo Horizon. But now you're in the free market. So that's going to depend upon how you actually do sell and what you decide to accept for that particular gold or silver that you actually do have. A golden secret? Don't it, the golden secret really is accumulate, don't speculate. And it's really important, as I said, I learned back in 2003 when I went to invest actually a seven figure into an international energy fund in Switzerland, I was introduced to the world of precious metals. And I was actually told then about you know, what rulers of empires, royalty and the financial elite did. Think long term, think generational. And gold and silver is only a small part of your portfolio. So 
you know, and it's very, very liquid, the process that we have. So be very balanced in your approach to this. This is really important. If you go to our website under FAQs at the bottom of the home page, you'll see I, I speak about this. And there's a document called there, which is the actual um, document about industry standards. It's, it's actually the sustainability report from Argo Horais. Now, it says here, we have consciously and purposefully selected Argo Horais as our preferred choice in precious metal refining industry standards with a clean gold policy. And that is absolute truth. We only source our gold from Argo Horais. As they source their gold from London Bullion Market accredited actual uh, mines and sources around the world. We don't want to get involved in one sense on the dark side of mining, which there certainly, actually, there certainly is. We want to make sure the human rights and standards are respected. Also toxins, the cyanide, mercury, which often pollutes uh, villages and towns, poisons, poisons uh, people, of course. Uh, you'll, if, when you read this report, I encourage you to actually click on the link on the FAQs, read it. You'll be surprised of what Argo Horias, a Swiss company, does when it comes to the services. They do not put any toxins back, and they have very strict standards when it comes to, of course, where they source their gold or silver from. So how do you convert your gold and silver? Well, first thing, you must make sure that you have enough grams. Uh, just as an example here, this one's showing 16 grams of gold uh, being saved over a period of time. This one's showing over 4,000 grams of silver. So if you wanted to convert that, it's very liquid in that form. You put a sell back order in, Next day, it would actually go to the London Bullion Market. It would be sold the amount of grams that you actually wanted to sell, and the money would be put uh, back to your uh, account uh, as requested within probably three to five work days. You then go to your precious metal catalog where you have a choice of the different products. So sell back is very easy, and as I said, there is no sell back fee. Zero sell back fee is applicable to active members. Non-active members and free accounts will incur a 2.97% sell back fee for processing and administration. So I want to thank you for your attendance. I hope that you've learned much. And we look forward to supporting you in building real wealth with Swiss Gold Global and cash flow. Thank you.